This tutorial is on creating an account in a web service called Digo. Digo lets you basically have a selection of bookmarks or favorites that you store online instead of storing on a particular machine or within a particular browser. The nice thing about that is it allows you to get your favorites or bookmarks from anywhere as long as you've got an internet connection. So to begin, we first have to go to the Digo website. And we can do that by going to www digo.com and that's two I's in the word Digo. When you get to Digo, unless you've already created an account, we'll have to join Digo. In the upper right hand corner is a join Digo link and when you click that, it will bring you to an area where you can actually create a user account. The username is up to you. You can create whatever you want. However, if you're going to be using this one for school, I'd recommend using something that kids may be able to recognize, especially if you want to share some bookmarks with them for use in class. Also, for email, I'd highly recommend that you use your first class email for a school type account. And then if you want to have stuff that's private, create a separate account that's for your own personal web, uh, browser websites that you want to save. After you put in your email and you choose your password, um, you'll have to go through the little CAPTCHA and then create your user account. Now, once you've created your user account, you can sign in. And I'm going to sign in with my school email address. And now it's going to bring me into what's called my library. And this is where all of my bookmarks are stored. Now, in your case, you probably don't have any in your library. So what we want to do is import the bookmarks that you exported out of Firefox and Safari and put them into Digo. So to do that, we have to go to the Tools area in Digo. And on the right-hand side, you'll see something that says Import Bookmarks. When we click Import Bookmarks, it's going to ask you, are you getting this from another bookmarking site or are you importing them from your browser? Well, in our case, we're going to import them via a bookmark file. So we're going to go to our Browse button, and we're going to go to the desktop, because this is where we stored our exported bookmarks earlier. And I'm going to look for, I had two of them. One was Firefox and one was Safari. So starting with Firefox at HTML, I'm going to open that one. And then this is sort of an important step. You can decide that the bookmarks that you import are visible only to you or that they are public, meaning anybody who knows your username can see what you've been bookmarking. For now, it might be a good idea to make those private so that you can make that decision later as to whether or not you want to share them. However, if it's just stuff for school and you want to start using it with kids, you can go ahead and select public and that will save you some work later on. This other thing that you need to fill out it says optional tags and actually you don't need to fill it out but this might be a good place to identify something that will help you find these bookmarks later so in my case I am getting these out of Firefox so I'm going to type Firefox for my tag and I'm going to say import now so right now what Digo is going to do is it's going to process my bookmarks that I uploaded and then send me an email to my first class when it's done now, because I had two different bookmark files, one from Safari and one from Firefox, I'm going to need to repeat the process again. So I'm going to go back to the tools, I'm going to go back to import bookmarks, I'm going to scroll back down to the bottom of the page, I'm going to browse for now my Safari bookmarks. So I'm going to click on Safari, and then I'm going to click open. I'm going to tag now instead of Firefox, I'm going to type in Safari. And again, I'm going to make these private for now so that I can go back and decide which ones I want to share. Once I hit import again, I'll get a similar message that it will email me in first class when it's finished. And then from there, I just have to wait. And the next time that I log in and I go to my library, I will now see, and these are all the ones that I had on my Safari um, browser, these are all the bookmarks that I've imported. And what you'll notice is there's a lock next to each one. And what that means is they are only visible to me. They're not visible to anybody else who visits my Deagle account. 
If you have any difficulty importing your bookmarks into Digo, please contact your tech person and they'll be happy to help you.